that I've come to the floor to urge Congress to wake up to the threat of climate change. Uh, this week, something new is happening. I'm joined by colleagues who will help me shine a little light on the web of climate denial and spotlight the bad actors in the web who are polluting our American discourse with phony climate denial. This web of denial formed over decades has been built and provisioned by the deep-pocketed Koch brothers, by ExxonMobil, by Peabody Coal, and by other fossil fuel interests. It's a grim shadow over our democracy in that it includes an electioneering effort that spends hundreds of millions of dollars in a single election cycle and threatens any Republican who steps up to address the global threat of climate change. Just one of those electioneering groups, the Koch brothers backed Americans for Prosperity, has openly proclaimed that if Republicans support a carbon tax or climate regulations, they would be, and I'll quote them, at a severe disadvantage in the Republican nomination process, it would mean their political peril. When that threat comes from a group that has openly and notoriously pledged to spend $750 million in that election cycle, that is a threat that serves notice on the political class to behave. And regrettably, the political class too often does behave in the face of that kind of money.